good morning I'm gonna show you a couple of the things that I use and how, why I like it because you know there's like a million things out there but you know you don't always have to spend like a lot a lot of money so um, the first thing that I'm gonna show you which I absolutely love is this number seven beautifully matte makeup base now I have a very oily t-zone so I use this before I put on my foundation and it is amazing you can get this online it is not expensive it's really really good so I just put a little bit on my forehead come down to my t-zone in here and in here and I just kind of blend it I put it everywhere I'm gonna put my makeup basically it works as a primer and it also reduces your pores so it's really really good all right and then I use hello flawless by benefit um, I love this because it's light it's not too oily and um, it stays on it does it really stays on and I use the nutmeg so what I do is that I take a little bit and I just like dab it on my face with my bamboo brush is by Echo Tools, Walmart, so you don't have to worry about expensive stuff. Okay, and then I just go ahead and I make sure I kind of get it in there a little. You can also use a sponge if you like. If sponges work for you, go for it. Make sure you bring it down to your neck. After I do that, and I only used one pump, one pump is good. What I like to use is the Maybelline Fit Me um, Shine Free Foundation. And this one actually is the golden beige. So it's really light. You would and what I do is I go ahead and I just put that underneath my eyes. And I blend it in with my fingers. So after I get my concealer to kind of blend in, I like powdered foundations because A, I said I have oily skin. So I go with Studio Fix by MAC and I am an NW50. And then I take my Kabuki brush from eBay and I just kind of go in, not really going into my, uh, my concealer, kind of just go around my concealer a bit. You'll see the highlight but all my foundation has been really blended in after I'm done with my foundation um, most people like to do their eyebrows before they do their foundation because it's a lot easier to blend everything in and move on to my eyebrows because after I'm done with that then I can fix anything else on my face that is inconsistent brush them so that everything is going the right way the same way and you can use whatever brush sometimes I use toothbrush like an old toothbrush because the bristles are um, hard and they're consistent and it's a lot easier to kind of brush these things down and get them to lay down after I do that I take my slanted brush also from Echo Tools while I I'm using a MAC powder in a very dark brown all right I start with the underneath of my eyebrows And don't worry if it looks thicker than you like. That's what concealers are for. I take my Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. And this is a Cafe 30. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let it focus. No, no. Okay. It's a Cafe 30. Um, I take that and I take my Bare Essentials Concealer Brush and I use this brush with my concealer for my eyebrows because the, um, the bristles are really firm, they're firm and they go, they go with the flow, whatever I decide to do. So that's why I like this brush. So I take this out and it looks like that. I just take a little dab of it, not too much and you want to start right here where your eyebrow curves because that's where you want to concentrate 
Now this is the time to shape your eyebrows to look however you want them to look. Voila, you get the shape you want. And then you want to get the top. So I get the top over here too. But even when I um, use my concealer for the top, I don't really put a whole lot of concealer on the brush. And after I'm done with that, what I like to do <clears throat> is take my brush, fade it a little at the end so it looks more natural. Grab your brush again and then you just clean it up. After my eyelashes are done, I like to use a very um, old and kind of like dried out, not too dry, mascara. And what I use is the Clinique Waterproof. Um, I use that one. It's an old Clinique mascara. And I use that one because um, it's waterproof, first of all, so it's not going to easily come off. So I take it and I slowly, with a very light hand, go over my eyebrows. I use this Maybelline New York Line Stiletto and I love this because it's like a pen. It's like a pen and it's a lot easier to um so I start from the very inner corner of my eye and you want to slowly do this so and then when you get in the corner I bring it from the bottom up first, and then I do my cut eye. I grab my mascara. I use two mascaras, and I love both of them because they both like they um elongate. Because I don't, I think I don't know if you guys can tell. I kind of have very curly eyelashes, but they're not very long. They're really not. So. I like to kind of elongate them, but I don't curl them because they're already curled. Clump Crusher <laughs> by Last Blast. And um, it has this curved, it has this curved um, brush in there. So first I just go from the bottom up. After I'm done with that, I use my second favorite mascara, which is by Rimmel London. And it's the soup extra, okay, that's upside down. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's the extra super lash. And I love this one because I get adds more volume and it's, it's just amazing. So now that I've brightened my eyes, <laughs> one thing that I also like to do after that is um, I go back in with my concealer and a foam. I love this foam. Um, I got it from Sephora, I think. So I kind of just dab a little. And then you, I dab like three, four times and then I go back in. I take my blush brush, also from Bamboo, Echo Tools. I'm using this palette that I got a while ago and as you guys can tell I put a dent in a couple of things in here it hit the pan already I liked using this powder right here because it it's really um, light and it just brightens my face so I like it and um, the blush that I use in here is this one right here um, it has like a rosy tint to it and so that's why I like it I really really like it and then I do the duck face and you don't want a whole lot or else you end up looking very chalky you want to blend it upward kind of towards your your temple all right so now that that is done I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something light and kind of dark at the same time so I'm gonna start off with this black color right there I like that so I'm gonna start with that just a little dab you don't want to overdo it you don't want too much just a little bit you want to start right here 
and I realized that I put on my um, eyeliner before I did this okay because I don't do too much on my lids I just want a little bit and then with that I add a little bit red on the inside so it's nothing too drastic just like in the crease get it into the crease very well after I've done that I like to go in with a little bit of like a gold dust and that just goes underneath my eyebrows just to give it a more shimmery look right where the arch is so I'm gonna be mixing two different um, lipsticks the first one is it's called brazen berry 905 and I was looking for a very pink um, vivid colored lipstick and I found it and I absolutely love it and it's by Maybelline so I'm gonna be mixing that and um, my Revlon uh, uh, wild or first one I put on is this because it's lighter and I kind of want to tone it down a bit It looks like that and that's how the Revlon looks so the Revlon is more of a um, darker purple whilst the Maybelline is more of like a bright bright pink and as a black woman don't let anyone tell you you can't wear colored lipstick it is the it's the best thing in the world it's your best friend no one can tell you that you go ahead and wear all the colored lipstick in the world because well, choosing the right color, of course, because it works for us. Because we have um, different kinds of pigmentations on our face, and putting on um, colored, colored lipstick brings those things out. So do it. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Do it. Do it. I like it. You will like it. So I'll take this off. Don't worry. But just to show you how my face looks when I'm completely done. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, you know it's kind of is nerve-wracking showing people what you do and how you do the certain things that you do is um, thank you guys for watching I do different things I do hair all kinds of things so stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed these simple simple um, things with not like you know overly expensive product um, these are half of my products are from Walmart or Target the only thing that's not it's my Mac and that's about it. Everything else is cheap. You can afford it. I can afford it. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, have a great Saturday. I'm going to go take this off, fix my hair, and call it a day. Bye. Kisses.